That's a rock. The Olson family takes a holistic approach to life. These are soaps, lip balms. This is a all natural sunscreen. Their home based business sells organic body products. She puts a literal loofah inside the soap. They work to avoid certain things in their food. All the dyes, the preservatives, just anything of that nature. And in what they put on their skin. We're really careful and cautious with like the wipes we use or the lotions we use or creams or medicines or anything like that. We're like very careful to monitor the ingredients. That's what drew them to try water wipes, which markets itself as the world's purest wipe, made with 99.9% .9 water and a drop of fruit extract. I looked into all the options that they had at Target and the water wipes were the only ones that didn't contain some sort of added this, added that, preservative this. So I went with one box. They were quite expensive, $25 for a six pack. Nick says they used a couple wipes on March 15th, the day they bought them. The ones on the top of the package seemed fine. Then... I go to like just change her diaper like normal, middle of the night, it's dark, can't see anything. But I start smelling this weird smell coming from the water wipe package. He didn't investigate... Look at these! ...until the morning. What the actual hell? Ew! What in the hell? Recording as they pulled one wipe after another what? out of package what? after package and posting the video on TikTok, where it's racked up more than 3.1 million views. It's literally a brand new box. That's like makeup or mold or something. It's mold and makeup and pee and poop. Yeah, we just used that on our poor little... Baby. One year old Charlotte developed a red itchy rash, so they took her to the doctor the next day. Lab tests detected E. coli, and doctors prescribed antibiotics for a urinary tract infection. So there's no way to know whether the infection she has is related to the wipes, but that concern remains for you. After we use the wipes once or twice, she gets an infection. We've never had an issue before. I mean, one plus one, you know, that's all I can think. There are still a lot of questions about where in the process the contamination may have happened, from manufacturing to shipping to delivery here at the Target on Rainbow and Spring Mountain, where the family purchased the wipes. The store has already given them a full refund. Now they'll be sending back the packaging and some of the contaminated wipes to the manufacturer for testing. Okay, so we'll start with these. So these are like the empty packs that I had to salvage from our dumpster because they wanted the expiration date, which we found out none of them were expired. But they did have a strange odor. I mean, just like a... Oh. Yeah, it's not pleasant. What does that even smell like to you? I don't know. It smells spoiled. Yeah. Like something went bad in the fridge. Target has not responded to our email and phone calls requesting comment. Nick says the store manager told him they don't restock any returned baby products, but we found the location also did not pull the remaining water wipes from store shelves. Nick bought several more boxes, and as we opened them together, found they all seemed to be fine. Looks good. 13 Investigates also contacted Water Wipes. While the company would not provide an interview, Vice President Lindsey Martin wrote in an email, We've taken this matter extremely seriously, and as soon as we were made aware, we immediately launched an investigation. Our quality control team has undertaken microbiological and other tests on retained wipes from the same batches that this customer purchased, with the wipes meeting all our safety and quality standards. We will also be working with independent experts to conduct testing on the wipes that the customer used once we are in possession of them. And though they haven't found any manufacturing or production problems so far, Water Wipes did note some unusual issues with the box Nick bought. One side was completely taped, the other side was sealed how these are with like glue. Water Wipes also told us this is the first time they've seen different packs from different production lines in the same box, writing, we're at a loss as to how this could have happened. One of people's natural skeptical responses is going to be, you guys did this. You sabotaged it because you're out for a payday. Why would I want to save nasty wipes in the same house as my one-year-old daughter that could contract infections or whatever the heck was on those wipes? Um, I wouldn't want that in my house. Number two, 
I wouldn't spend the time or be able to stuff them back in the packaging. And then number three, we're not really pursuing any avenues of like suing them or anything like that. I'm just in contact with them trying to figure out what the heck went wrong so that it doesn't happen to other people. Other people who posted comments on TikTok say they've seen this kind of thing before and they believe it's most likely mold as opposed to some kind of sabotage. Waterwipe says they don't want to speculate about the possible cause until their investigation is complete and we'll let you know the results. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.